everyone, it's Kidu, and in this video I'm giving you guys a closer look at Yuri Lowell's Nendroid here from Tales of Vesperia. Um, he's really cute. I like the way he looks from the front. His outfit is adorable as well. Um, I'm glad we actually got an android or something of him in his normal outfit. Alter is making a figure of him pretty soon, um, but he's in a different, he's in one of his like alternative outfits in the game. And unfortunately, I really wanted their original Yuri Lowell figure that they had. And unfortunately, I don't think they're re-releasing him. I'm not sure if other people are also interested in the re-release, especially since they remade the game. I think it'd be really nice if they did, but you know, what are you gonna do? Maybe I'll find it aftermarket eventually. It's just so much more expensive right now, which makes me really sad. His little boots are cute. Um... I don't know if you can see, but the paint on his boot is a little weird. Again, sorry for the awkward filming. This is done on my iPad. Not a great time. Um, I do have some complaints about him, unfortunately. I will do one more little 360 for you guys. Uh, my main complaints here are the way his hair looks. I know they made his hair this way to accommodate this pose. We could put the sword behind his, um, behind his back like this. But how they made his hair, it's long, they made it come out really far off of his back so there's like this much space between his back and his hair and without this pose like when he looks when you have a sword down or whatever it looks really really awkward because his hair just sticks out really far from his back so that is one of my complaints but I understand again why they did it still not a fan of how it looks when he's not in this pose so I did put him in this pose because I thought it looked a little more normal um, and of course, when he puts his sword on his back, it's not going to be underneath his hair like that, really. But I don't think they had a choice because of the size of his head. <laughs> so you're going to have to go with the hair over the sword. Anyways, not a huge fan. Again, always complaining about the peg that goes into his back here. And the fact that it is always a little too tight. Slash, I'm always scared it's going to scratch the paint on the back of his clothes. That's what he looks like like that, though. He's got his little bracelet. I still, again, love his little boots. The details on the collar of his, like, inner shirt. Undershirt, sorry, inner shirt. Um, are nice, too. His face looks accurate to him. I love the hair color. I think it turned out really nicely. Um, my other complaints are his arms are actually quite loose. So it's fairly hard to get him into this pose because his arm here kept falling off. And I'm really scared to try to touch it to adjust it again. There's a tiny bit of a gap there. And I'm a little worried to try to push it back. Sorry, I just spun on my chair a bit. <laughs> to push his arm further in. Mostly because I'm scared that if I touch it, it's just going to fall out again. And I'm going to have to reposition the sword under his hair, which is a huge pain in the butt. So I'm not really a fan of that. And another thing that I want to comment on. It's really minor, but still kind of worth noting. He has a, I don't know if you're going to be able to see with this camera, he has a tiny dot by his mouth, if you can see there on the um, right side, you can kind of see it. Sorry, it's so hard to film with this thing, I get so shaky because it's so large. And there's another like dot under his eye, which I think it's too bright, oh there you go. See there you can see it under his eye like there, like that, sorry. So you can see it's under his eye right there and then that one by his mouth and then of course the paint job on his mouth seems I think if you can maybe see sorry it's so dark right under his mouth there's a bit of a paint mark as well um, it's kind of minor you can't tell from far away so it's not a huge deal personally um, I was tempted to con to contact them for it but I'm pretty sure if I just took a magic eraser to those small spots I'd be able to get rid of the marks so I'm gonna give that a shot um, instead of contacting them just to save myself some time because I'm lazy but yeah so this is pretty much him those are my comments on how he is made other than that I like him a lot just the hair and the little marks on his face and his loose arms were bothering me mostly um, I'm sorry again for the shitty camera quality <laughs> Hopefully by the end of September I will have a new working phone and I'll be able to film this stuff a little easier then. And I'll be more motivated to film. <laughs> One of my biggest issues and why I'm not filming as much right now 
is because I dread using this stupid iPad to film things. But I don't have a purple camera, so this is what we're dealing with right now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This was Yuri Lowell's Nendroid from Good Smile Company. He's from Tales of Vesperia, if you're interested in checking out that game. Um, I loved that game. I played it with my cousin back in the day. I never ended up finishing it, so I plan on playing the remake once I finish the games I am currently playing. So that'll be a good, a good thing. Some affiliate links I have in the description below as well, so check those out. I get a small commission if you purchase anything through those links. So I really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys to, you, to those of you who have done it before and those of you who plan to do it in the future. It really helps me out, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You can subscribe if you'd like to. That is all I have for today. So you guys have a good night or day, wherever you are, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!